Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to select the range of the rows with a combo box. Dynamically, I want to display the selected range of the rows in a list box from an Excel sheet into a user forum. For that, I am using VBA code. So let's start the tutorial. I'm running this application. Here we've got the final output. Now it will display the first one application runs and display all the records, 19 records we have got here in our list box. Now select the rows to display dynamically. I want to display only 10 records. See here only 10 records from this list. Now if I want 5, 5. If I want 15, here we've got 15 records. If you want to show all, it will display all the records. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous MS Excel VBA code tutorials. You can find many video tutorials from beginners to advanced level in my channel playlist. So let's start the tutorial. Today's tutorial is, I want to select the uh, range of the rows from this Excel sheet. For example, if a user wants to display only the five rows from this table, uh, the user can select from the combo box. That result, I want to display the selected range of the five rows in a list box control I want to display. So let's start the VBA code. In order to create a user forum, first we require the developer option. Select the developer. Once we click the developer, go to Visual Basic. Now, here we got the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. Now we'll add one user forum. For that, click Insert User Forum. Here we got the user forum design. Let me expand this user forum. After that, let me push aside this control toolbox. Uh, now I will add one combo box. Combo box. Uh, then I'm adding one list box. Now here we got two controls, combo box and list box. Now my first aim is I want to add some um, numbers here, 5, 10, 15 and 20 like that. So user, if the user selects 5, I want to display the 5 rows from this Excel sheet. If a user selects 10, I want to display 10. If a user select show all, I want to display all the records in this list box. So select the user forum, right click the mouse, go to view code. In the user forum, by default, it's open with quick event, but we require the initialize event. Let me delete this default event. Now, first, I want to display all the records in the list box. So list box one dot list list is equals to the range range what is the range here i'm adding a1 colon uh, up to c20 or c21 you can c21 dot value then uh, i want to display the uh, columns also so list box one dot column count in our excel sheet we have three columns one two three a b c so let's add three if you don't add this one it will display only one row student number only now after adding that now we require the combo box details also combo box one dot uh, list list is equals to i'm adding array array 5, 10, 15 and show all, show all, that's it. Now let's check the output, how it looks uh, up to now, what we have the code, run this application and notice here we got this excel sheet in our list box all the three columns we have added and also in the combo box we have um, the numbers 5, 10, 15 show all. 
Now, now my next aim is if I use a select 10, I want to display only the top 10 records. If I use a select 15, I want to display for only 15 records from this list. If I use a select show all, it will display all the records. For that, the code is let me close this user form application. Select the combo box data, click that one. Here we got the combo box one underscore change event. Now, first condition is if combo box one dot one dot value value is equals to five five uh, sorry then then list box one dot uh, list let me add this range this one instead of writing the same code i will add for the time saving here i am adding c5 c5 and if after we need to close the and if also let me close uh, copy this one now here 10 i'm changing the range to 10 uh, let me add the 11 because this is 6 because the first a1 is a header heading c12 and this one c16 and this one we need to change the value also now here the last one is a show all show all make sure give the exact same values here and i want to display everything just copy this one and paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part and now what we'll do is again go to user file we'll add one small label um, label the caption is caption select the rows rows to display rows to display Font bold twelve okay. Now let's check the final output. I'm running this application. Here we got the final output. Now it will display the first one application runs so display all the records 19 records we have got here in our list box now select the rows to display dynamically i want to display only 10 records see here only 10 records from this list now if i want 5 5 if i want 15 here we've got 15 records if you want show all it will display all the records that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to select the range of the rows to display dynamically uh, into your list box with a combo box control using VBA code. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.